Welcome to Australian Earth Science Education. In this experiment, we are going to model convergent and divergent plate interactions. You will need a deep plastic container, thick cardboard, sand, soil, a marking pen, scissors, and gloves. Microbes in soil may cause disease, so wear gloves for the experiment and thoroughly wash your hands afterwards. Make your cardboard divider first. Trace around the end of the container twice. Allow for extra room on top. Cut out the dividers. To make your convergent boundary model, place the divider at one end of the container. Layer sand and soil in the container. Don't fill it up to the rim. Move the divider towards the center of the container and observe what happens to the surface and the layers. This simulates the pushing forces at a convergent boundary. Examine the results of your experiment. What happened to the surface of the model? What features do you notice in the cross section? Did you see any features like those in the photo? Folds and reverse faults are formed by convergent forces. To make your divergent boundary model, place the divider in the center of the container. Layer sand and soil in one half of the container. Fill the container nearly up to the rim. Move the divider toward the empty end of the container and observe what happens to the surface and layers. This simulates the pulling forces at a divergent boundary. Examine the result of your experiment. What happened to the surface of the model? What features do you notice in cross-section? Did you see any features like those in the photo? Rift valleys, like that in East Africa, are formed by continental divergence. What are the advantages of using this small model of plate interaction? What does it show well? What are the disadvantages of the model? What is not represented well? Can you think of possible improvements? Perhaps you can find a way to add greater pulling force for divergence.